Hello everyone, this is Alex with Tello Autonomous Drone Project. What's Tello? Tello is a mini drone, a result of collaboration of DJI, the famous drone manufacturer, and Intel. This small drone is truly amazing piece of technology. It is able to transmit 720p live video stream, has a complete SDK, which permits getting video stream and to control the drone programmatically using any language you want, from C++ to Python to JavaScript, which we are using for this project. The drone is very robust. My one, which I have here, survived more than 100 crashes, free fall from the height of 30 meters and still fu fully functional. I had to replace two set of blades, though. This project aims to bring the control of the drone to the browser. First of all, we get video feed from the drone. In order to do that, we get raw H.264 packets from the drone and use FFpeg to wrap them into RTP packets. Then we feed RTP packets into Meduse Media Server, which delivers it in the browser via WebRTC connection. A result in your instant video right in your browser. Or mobile device if you manage to connect an external network. We can use a keyboard to control the drone. To see all available keys, click on the on-screen keyboard icon. We could adjust drone height or move it closer or further away. Now to the most juicy part. Autonomous mode. Autonomous mode is activated using the space key. Autonomous mode activated. In autonomous mode, drone detects a human on the video feed and starts following it. Here you can see a simultaneous recording of the actual scene and the drone video feed. The drone could fly on his own without any manual control. The drone could autonomously follow the person moving in the woods. or running towards the drone. Even skating. or playing sport games. Please do not judge my ball playing skills. Under the hood we use a feedback loop. After receiving each video frame, we find body coordinates leveraging tensorflow.js and then we send command to the drone to adjust its position. We use distance between person's ears as a measurement of a distance between the person and the drone. If it scales down, we should move drone closer. If it grows, we should move drone backwards. The same logic applies to the x-axis. We always try to keep person in the center moving drone to the left or to the right accordingly with slight yo to enable to catch turns. The height of the drone in the same time remains constant, since we expect people always stick to surface. Now let's see some examples of how drone flies autonomously. Person detected. Following. Thank you. 
Warning, low battery, person detected, following. The link to the GitHub repo of the project and all related stuff you can find below the video. Thanks for watching!